Hey there, in this episode, we're gonna talk about being afraid, afraid to fail. Are you afraid to fail? Sharon Hornell's from here, but you can call me Pajama Grandma. In case you haven't met yet, go and put hashtag pajama in the comments below. So it's the first time you're being exposed to the Pajama Grandma. Today is actually day 338, sneak a sip of coffee, of what I like to call the daily scare share. So for 337 days already, we have gone through in this little journal type book called Do One Thing a Day That Scares You, and done a little task or challenge or exercise or quiz, whatever the activity was in the book on that given day to stretch our comfort zone, move us toward what it is that we want, whatever it is that we want, whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that I want. That's why I've been doing this book. I hope you've been doing it along with me. If you haven't, guess what? They're all out in the universe. They're all out on Facebook Live. If you message me, I can actually set you up in an autoresponder that will send you one of these every single day so that you can stretch your comfort zone too. I will admit, beginning of the year, I was living in, in a major R-U-T, rut, super big rut. You know, they say a rut's just a grave with the ends kicked out. And I was definitely going through the motions of my life and doing that. So this has helped me to stretch my comfort zone and bust out of and feel okay with being me. And the secret is that's why we're all here. We're all here on this planet, living this life to be ourselves, to express ourselves and experience our life as only we uniquely can. So stretching our comfort zone is a way of helping us to do that. Today is a sayings day and it's really cool because I can actually read it today without my handy dandy magnifying glass. I can't read who it's by, but I can read it says, don't be afraid to fail, be afraid not to try. Don't be afraid to fail, be afraid not to try. Now, I like to believe that there's no such thing as failure. There's stuff we do that doesn't work out, and then so we just do something else. We try something else. But you can't fail unless you quit. And sometimes we'll choose to not do things anymore. Sometimes we'll choose to quit. I had to quit playing tennis. I had to choose to stop playing tennis. I can't see out of my left eye and I need a magnifying glass to see out of my right eye. So my tennis game went downhill pretty fast <laughs> and I tried for years. Don't get me wrong. I actually went out and played tennis for several years. I would try every, every year I would get that itch and that bug and I would want to go play tennis and I would try and I would epically fail because I couldn't see the ball and I would miss it by three feet and I would get a really good workout and my partner would laugh, the person I was trying to play tennis with and, and we'd all laugh and then we'd go, you know, have a go go have a, a lunch or something because it was so funny but we were exhausted and it was always good comic relief but after about seven years of that or so I finally decided okay I guess I'm gonna have to find other outlets for my energy other things that I can do because tennis isn't gonna be one of them so there's things that we stop doing because we can no longer do them actually Michael Jordan said this and our challenge for today says what I tried today and then blank lines so like Michael Jordan, I want to challenge you today to go out and try something new, try something different. I'm really excited. I had a lady reach out to me today and she wants to feature me in her book and in a, a project that she's doing. And I'm really honored and excited about that. And I also, I also am excited to try that because I haven't done a very good job putting myself out there. Yep, maybe I've done 338 videos on my obscure customer's catcher page where I share the daily scare share, but that's not really putting myself out there, right? So I'm afraid, I'm, I admit it right now, I am afraid to put myself out there more. I've stretched my comfort zone and I'm doing it a little bit and a little bit and a little bit every day, but the more people know me, the more people see me, the more people find me, a little bit more nervous I get and I'll overcome that, I'll get over that, but <clears throat> and I'll be honest, it's not because they judge me because believe me, my family judges me about pajama grandma. They think I'm, I'm goofy about it, but they're not my target audience. They don't understand the message I'm trying to convey by showing up in my pajamas. You guys, I get up every day and I put on new pajamas. Who does that? Nobody, nobody, right? Me, Sharon, pajama grandma does. So what can you try today that even if you, even if you totally screw it up, it just doesn't matter. I think so many people are afraid of doing things like sales or sharing what they have to offer with the world because they're afraid somebody will say no. But guess what? Who cares if somebody says no? It's not right for that person at this particular moment in time, but it is right for all of the other people that you're here to serve. So don't be afraid to fail. Be afraid not to try. Be afraid to sit on your couch or in your cozy 
shearling blanket chair and rock because I love rocking. Um, be afraid to not step out and be who you are because the world needs who you are and they've needed it all along, but they really, really, the world, this world really, really needs you now. So don't be afraid to be you. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow. Bye. Jam Grandma out. Guess what? Don't be scared. You got this.